About a year ago, I decided that I wanted to start visiting the beautiful state parks in Tennessee, the where I live, and I found them to be beautiful and fascinating, and a lot of the state parks had nice uh, little campgrounds and campsites uh, with electricity and water, and I thought, well, it'd be nice if I'm traveling around the state to be able to spend the night in one of these little camp sites. Uh, however, you know, I, I wasn't prepared to spend the kind of money to buy uh, an RV. So I thought, what could I uh, do instead? And I decided to buy a 2024 Honda Odyssey minivan and convert it. Now, the nice thing about that, one of the nice things about that is that you you know you can put the seat leave the seats in and use it as a regular minivan and with Honda being you know such a uh, dependable vehicle uh you know you're going to be able to drive that thing around and haul family members around and stuff for for decades and then when I want to take my little weekend trips I just pull the seats out and slide in my uh camper van so I spent a lot of time thinking about how to do this and, and, and researching it. And I came up with something that works really good for me. And I thought maybe there's some other people that might be interested. So that's why I made this video. Uh, if you have a Honda Odyssey and, and you'd like to turn it into a camper van. Um, one thing is that I'm not trying to get off the grid or, or have van life and live in the van or anything. What I like to do is uh, Saturday or Sunday, just a couple hours down the road, go to one of these beautiful parks, spend the night, go hiking, uh, and then come home and go to work next week. Base, you know, so I spend a lot of time on weekends doing this, so that works just fine for me. You can see here, of course, up front is the, uh, you know, where the, the driving quarters. But as we move back a little bit, this is, I call this like the living room. Um, we have an air conditioner, a cooler, a microwave with a cutting board and a five gallon um, water tank with a, a nifty little uh, faucet on top where you just push, it runs on batteries, you push a button and it will release water, you know, like a glass of water, whatever you want push the button and it stops um there's a shelf that is built onto the to the wood to the flooring and in under there i have uh storage bins and you can see here uh it's like i keep my coffee pot just uh bring that up here in the mornings and have my coffee uh everything i do all of this stuff is electric um, so I, I need a, a camping place that has electricity, which is where I always go anyway. Uh, I have a nice little carpet down here and I'm sitting on a seat. Uh, I took the second row seats out for this and I'm in the th a third row seat. This is an ottoman, which I use as a little table. You can slide it around on the, on the carpet. You can use it to, uh, eat. Like as a table, you could put your your computer on here, your laptop. I also it's also good for storage, so I got a lot of storage stuff. And I'm going to push this up here right now next to the uh, cooler and show you how much space we have back here. This is the uh, I call it the couch, and a very comfortable back seats, by the way. And I like that they have these little uh, cup holders and and sort of like a little end table at the end of each end of the couch you see where i was just sitting over here uh same thing now the seats split and that's going to become really important here pretty soon and i'm going to take you outside and show you uh that so let me slide up here open the door and we'll head on around back
Now, th this is the back seats, and there's a lot of room for uh, storage behind there. And there's the back seats, but you can see how much room we have from there with the flooring and everything. Now, all of this stuff is fastened real uh, securely. I don't like to hear any rattling or anything when I'm driving. It sounds very uh, quiet, comfortable. Everything is hinged down. Now, uh, I'm gonna show you what really makes the whole thing work right now. And that is these seats, these back seats, fold down like that. And when you do that, you can come around to the side here I'm gonna push over the table, lift up the carpet, and you'll see I have a, a, a wooden floor. Now this is a four by six feet and three quarter inch plywood that I painted black and I cut it and put hinges on it so that it fits perfectly in there four feet works perfect so you see on either side where the second seats can slide back and forth there's a little uh, uh handle there that you can slide in on both sides to make the uh, floor very solid doesn't move now you can take i take this piece lift it up because it's on a hinge and drop it back and you can and there's one of the same thing on the other side and the, i cut them to the exact width of these uh chairs so when when i go by myself i want to leave this chair up and put a single bed here on the side when i have uh somebody with me then i leave this up and i just put both seats back at night and put a a, a double bed in there which i have a a double and a single now oops excuse me so i'm going to pull the carpet back again and show you the bed so here we have a look at it this way now this i love this bed it's only a couple of inches thick but it is uh, a combination of air and foam and it self inflates very quickly in about a minute and you can take the air out of it roll it up tight in a little thing and just pop it in the storage but right now i have it inflated and i'm going to show you how it fits now this is six feet long i'm 511 there you have it got my blanket got my pillow I can sit over here uh, do work pull that uh, ottoman up and use it as a table I can eat there I, I all I have to do is since I have electricity is uh, get some frozen food out of the cooler i'm only going to be gone for the weekend so it stays cold there's my microwave oven i just pop it in there i got my water and i'm going to t tell you about the air conditioner here in a minute that was uh, a little more complicated so there it is got a little storage area back here behind the seat nice comfy bed with a little nightstand right there next to it Now, I want to, sh uh, about the air conditioner. Um, I live in the South and it gets very hot down here much of the year. And um, I have a black van. And so what I wanted was to be very comfortable and cool throughout the day in the back of the van without having to keep the engine running. Because, I, you know, I have electricity. Um, so I can just run an extension cord to the van and plug the air conditioner in. However, 
in order for it to work good, you have to vent the hot air out. So, as you can see, I came up with this. It hooks to the back of the air conditioner and I bring it over here. And all I have to do, here's the, the vent part, right there. All I have to do is crack the window a little bit, stick the vent in there. Then I've got this piece of uh, like rubbery type foam that I can just place up here and seal off the other area. Right there is where the vent is and I have a nice little seal. Uh, in case it rains or something, the hot air is blowing out. And I'll tell you what, this stays very cool inside all the way up into the 90s uh, degrees. Uh, I can sit in here all afternoon and, and it'll be cool. So there you have it. If you want to do a little weekend getaway uh, on a regular basis and you want to have a little conversion van that you can still use as a regular van but i just pull these things out pull the flooring at the board out and put the middle seats in um listen i'd i'd be glad to help you if if you want to leave a message or something and uh, get, get in touch with me i would be happy to uh let you know how i did this a little bit further okay bye bye